a young female patient was referred to me for consultation regarding either endodontic retreatment of teeth 19 and 20 or their extraction and replacement with an implant. Both teeth were treated overseas about five years prior to this radiograph and were both symptomatic at the time of her presentation to my office. Poor coronal restorations were present as well. In this case, we proceeded to retreat teeth 19 and 20. I retreated tooth number 19 first, followed by the treatment of tooth number 20. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the use of the BC sealer in conjunction with the MacPack rotary file. Okay, so this is tooth number 20, and as you can see, this tooth has been treated with a very poor root canal fill. There is a lot of space around this root canal fill that is poorly condensed. There is coronal decay around the crown, therefore the crown has to be changed for sure. But also, if you look down there, you can see that there is additional anatomy on the side of the tooth that reflects a potential additional canal, or maybe two. So having uh, seen the radiograph, we know we have a little bit of a challenge going on, and we proceed to treat this tooth uh, non-surgically, in which we find three canals uh, using the endosequence rotary file system, and uh, we instrument them to size 30 or 4 endosequence gutta-percha cones. Now we're ready to obturate the tooth, and as you can see here, we have access through the, uh, the crown, and the tooth has been isolated. So I'm using the advanced obturation technique here with directly injecting into the tooth. Once the bioceramic sealer is injected, then the MAC pack 25 tip is rotated at about 600 RPM, about one millimeter short of the apex in each canal. You only want to rotate these at 600 RPM and not higher because a higher RPM can be very dangerous in pushing material out. Once the sealer has been applied, then the three endosequence gutta-percha cones that correspond to the endosequence rotary files is now cemented into place. It's very important at this point to be able to visualize the orientation of each canal uh, deep inside the tooth. Therefore, you can place your cones so that they can slide each into uh, that particular canal. The Endopro 270 is then used to sear off all three cones simultaneously in the mid-root area. A nice little trick is to leave the Endopro in place and then have your assistant pull out the cones. This prevents any pulling out of the cones. Once the gutta percha has been seared off, now a plugger is used to condense the gutta percha in the mid-root level. It's important not to place too much pressure on the dentinal walls. The goal is to only condense the gutta percha down so that you can get a denser fill. Towards the end, what you want to do is to walk your condenser down 360 degrees around the perimeter of the molten, molten gutta percha so that you can get a fairly close adaptation to the canal wall. The ultrasonic then is used using a size E14D tip and as you can see within 10 seconds all of the sealer is removed from the canal walls. By walking your condenser along the side walls and the perimeter of the canal, you also ensure that none of the sealer is potentially washed out from the sides of the gutta percha where the seal is present. Once the condensation is completed, then cavit is placed in the axis opening. And so here you can see the case once again before the instrumentation, and here it is immediately post-op. You can see that we actually ended up having four canals filled with the gutta percha and the BC sealer. And you can see that the BC sealer has very nicely flowed into these areas. Now, again, BC sealer is a filler, and therefore any area where you have potentially filled only with cement remains filled with cement. As you saw in this case, uh, the MAC pack is an option for placement of the BC sealer. However, it is very easy to understand that a lentulo spiral or even a MAC pack is not recommended to be used at higher RPMs. Furthermore, for the basic obturation technique using the BC sealer, I still recommend the placement of the sealer in the canal using your master apical file or uh, using a hand file 
versus using a high-speed rotary instrument such as a Mac Pack or a Lentula Spiral. This is especially true whenever you are around a vital uh, structure in the anatomical area such as the inferior alveolar nerve or the mental foramen or the maxillary sinus.